Welcome to Hitman Boxing, and I'm back with some more news. So we're a couple of days away from the Chris Algieri, Errol Spence Jr. fight that takes place on Saturday, April 16th. Uh, this is considered a step-up fight for uh, Errol Spence as he's been fighting, I don't know, motherfuckers in the top 30 or some shit. But um, he doesn't have a name like Chris Algieri on his resume. Um, now, Chris Algieri is not a bad fighter at all. Um, I mean, he's got, what, two losses uh, one being to Manny Pacquiao, the other being to Amir Khan. Um, he has a really good win over Provodnikov. And I uh, went back and watched that fight over. And um, and though he got dropped a couple of times in that first round, I mean, he outboxed the fuck out of Provodnikov. Um, he's got some really good footwork, man. And his hand speed is really underrated, in my opinion. So um, he could pose some problems for uh, Errol Spence Jr. You know, Errol Spence Jr. ain't the fastest motherfucker in the ring. But he got a lot of fucking power, and he goes to the body a lot. Um, I mean, I can see Chris Algieri, um, you know, looking to box him on the outside. Um, I think he might be taller than Errol Spence. I think he has a longer reach than Errol Spence. So, um, you know, I don't expect him to fight him the way he fought Khan. I do expect him to, you know, box him on the outside um, for as long as he can. Um, Errol Spence ha definitely has the power to drop Chris Algieri. And I'm pretty sure he is going to drop Chris out, Jerry. Um, I think those body shots are going to accumulate, you know, over time during the fight. Now, in my opinion, Errol Spence needs to stop Chris out, Jerry. I don't think Chris out, Jerry has ever been stopped in his professional career. The motherfucker's been knocked down a bunch of times, though. So, to really make a statement, I think Errol Spence needs to knock this motherfucker down. No, he not, not only knock him down, but he needs to fucking stop Chris out, Jerry. And Chris out, Jerry can get hurt. Um... I'm just concerned with uh, Errol Spence's speed, man. Uh, but his timing is there, man. So I, I really think he's going to fucking stop Algeria this weekend. But it's going to be a tough fight. Um, Algeria's a good opponent. Uh, he's He's got a lot of experience. He's been in there with a lot of good fighters. So we'll see how this shit goes. Now, afterward, I do expect Errol Spence to, to call out fucking Kell Brook. And some of these other Walter Waits, because once he gets his name on his resume, man, um, you know, it's time to start fighting motherfuckers in the top 10, man, because um, everybody else, nobody else is fighting each other, man. It, it, at least it seems to me in the Walter Waits division, nobody's fucking fighting. So, you know, hopefully Errol Spence can get these fucking, these big names and um, we can see some good fights this summer, you know what I'm saying? So, um, tell these motherfuckers to stop ducking, because they fucking ducking hard, man. Um, Keith Thurman didn't even want to make this fucking fight with Sean Porter, man. And who who knows what the fuck Danny Garcia is doing now. So hopefully Errol Spence can get some of these big fights. A fight with Caleb Brook would be nice. That's a, that's a really good fight, hard fight for both of those guys. So we'll see where the fuck Errol Spence goes from here. I do expect him to stop Chris Algieri. Um, and that's a good name for him to have on his resume. What do you guys think about this fight? You got Errol Spence, you got Chris Algieri. Let me know. Drop a fucking comment, man. Uh, thanks for listening, man. I appreciate y'all for listening to my shit. So, Hitman Boxing, I'm out.